Essentially what happens here is this is the first step in the recycling process after collection. Okay? And our job here is basically to take that single stream material and sort it out and make it ready to go down to go down to the next step, which may be the end user who will use this material as feedstock to make new materials. Uh, or in some cases in our glass and our plastics, it'll move on to yet another waste management facility for further sortation. Uh, and then on to end users. What happens is, is the trucks come off the routes, they come across the scale here, we weigh the whole truck, and then they go and they empty on our tip floor. The tip floor itself will hold 500 tons. We're probably looking at about 700 ton right now. We had another plant that was, um, that um, had some mechanical issues. We had to divert material here. Okay. You can see it's just a mixture of uh, everything quick and recycled in. Inside the plant, it's just a bunch of machines and conveyor belts. It's about 95% automated. Um, and, and essentially what happens is the stream will run through the building, and each commodity uh, is methodically extracted from the stream as it moves along. And what comes out of the back of the building is either uh, assorted product or trash. Single stream recycling. Very simply allows you to commingle everything into one container. Now, I know that sounds simple, but actually it's a revolution in the recycling world. Two major advantages to single stream recycling. First is uh, ease to participate. Uh, and second is collection. On the participation side, you make it easier, people are more willing to do it. It's that simple. And we've seen, we have studies and data that show communities that have gone from dual stream or source separated collection to single stream collection, we've seen volumes jump as much as 40%. Um, and, and just offering that type of service. Secondly, on the collection piece, the little green trucks running around, um, it made collection much more efficient. We can pack that material in as the truck goes along. So that means less fuel being used, um, that means less labor costs, that means um, being more green, less, less emissions, and it's also safer, less trucks cycling through the neighborhoods.